Hi everyone. <laughs> oh my god. I just started the vlog and a like feather or some piece of dust just flew up my nostrils. Anyway, good morning everyone. Aren't you guys so proud of me for vlogging? Like I know. I know groundbreaking behavior on my end, but I'm going to the gym and I thought it'd be fun to kind of vlog a week in my life again. I felt super happy about the vlog that I uploaded last week for you guys. I do do more things than just shop for home furniture. Um, so I was like, you know what? We're back into it. It's a new week. We're back with the vlog. I am headed to the aloe gym. I'm going to do Pilates, which I'm very excited about. Also, I'm pretty embarrassed because my car currently looks like it's been through a dust storm. It is the dirtiest, crustiest my car has looked in quite a while. And I am like actually kind of mortified to pull it into the aloe like valet today. Like I see these guys at the valet pretty much every day. <laughs> Not every day because I don't go to aloe every day. But I see them at least three times a week. And they know who I am and they know my car and I'm gonna bring my car in there and it's gonna literally look like it was hit by a tornado. And so I'm trying to see if there's a car wash on the way to the gym because I'm like, oh my God. It's because this past weekend, I actually drove to Manhattan. So I drove to Manhattan Beach and I visited Nat and then I also went up to Ventura where Brandon's family lives and I spent the weekend with them. So I did like five hours of driving this past weekend and didn't get my car washed once. What? Whoa. <laughs> My English. Anyway, um, welcome back to the vlog. I guess I'm feeling super yappy today because I just turned the camera on and have not known how to shut up since. I'm eating a little Chomps beef stick. Not beef. It's turkey. I like love these right before I go and work out. I have a birthday dinner tonight for my friend Emily. Emily June, she's having her birthday dinner, so I'm gonna go to that later. So that's what I have planned for today. I'm getting my car washed. Okay guys, fit check. I'm wearing this outfit. I'm going to Emily's birthday dinner. This top is from Revolve. It's this cute little sequin tank top and I love it so much. I actually just used some little fashion tape to keep it up because I have a strapless bra on underneath it. I have this leather jacket because it gets a little chilly at night and I don't know, I just feel exposed with the tank top on. And then I have these little denim jeans and then I have black booties on. I had heels on, like little peep toe heels, but I wasn't feeling the heel vibe. So now I am gonna go and pick up some flowers for Emily to bring to dinner. And then I'm gonna go meet her. We're going to Escuela, a Mexican restaurant. She changed the dinner spot on us. So we're gonna go to Escuela and go to dinner. I'm really excited. My hair is looking kind of crazy, but I got home from aloe, showered, did my hair and my makeup. And then I was working on my laptop until now I'm going to dinner, so I'll vlog at dinner. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Tuesday. I'm looking so disheveled. This sunburn spot right here is really bothering me, but I'm in a sweatsuit. I'm going to get a pedicure. My toes are so busted. It's like 12 o'clock. I had meetings this morning and then I also had therapy. So I just got out of therapy and I'm going to go get my toes done because I have an event tonight with Clarins. I'm really excited about. I have like a super cute dress that I just ordered from Evolve that I really want a picture in and I'm excited to wear, but I have to wear open toe heels tonight and I was like, I need a pedicure because my schlack has come off of my toes. So I'm gonna go get a pedicure really quick and then come back and do some work and that's pretty much it. I'm back from my pedicure. I actually am so bummed because I go to the same place every single time to get my nails and my toes done and I've been looking forward to this pedicure for so long because my toes have been so busted. <laughs> And I had the most like random lady and like she really wasn't that great and I was kind of bummed about it. But you know what? It's okay because my toes look so much better and now I can wear heels tonight with my little dress. Um, and it's 3 o'clock now. I left to go get a pedicure literally at noon. And I'm home. Okay, it's 2.40. But, like, that is such a long time for me to be at the nail place to be getting a pedicure. Like, I did stop at Giada on the way home and I picked up a wrap. I was sitting at the nail salon watching a TikTok and this man was like, I ordered Giada and I got the Buffalo Chicken Caesar wrap 
with ranch and he was eating it in front of me and I was like, well not in front of me, on my TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, I need that. So I ordered it immediately and then I went and picked it up. I'll give you a little taste tester. Oh my God. This kind of just tastes like a regular chicken Caesar. I don't taste the buffalo. This is so hitting though. Obviously haven't done my hair yet because I want to put the dress on. I've really got to get some better lighting in this closet room because it is not good. But I got this dress from Revolve and it's so, so cute. It just has like these little pink flowers on it, black little lace. The theme actually for this event, which I just saw it, it's French Riviera, whatever. So it's very like, I don't know, like I was looking on Pinterest and it's, I think more of like a neutral, clean kind of vibe, but I like really wanted to wear this dress and I was really excited about it. And I honestly don't have anywhere else right now to wear it. So I really think I'm just going to wear it and go with what I want to do as opposed to matching the theme, which is like such a shock. But I will show you guys the invitation. It was like six different shades of pink, which is why I chose this originally because I was trying to match the, in the invite. Okay, this is the dress. I think it's like so cute. It's definitely, I feel like it's different than like a dress that I would typically pick. I normally go for like neutral, but I feel like this is fun. This is so fun and cute. I also have these little like sandal heels. I have these, they're from Steve Madden and I feel like they'll just be like perfect just like a little sandal heel with this dress I'm definitely gonna have to rewear this outfit somewhere that's not a brand event although I'm probably gonna get a picture in it I'm just like it's so so cute especially with the little sandals I feel like in pictures I'm gonna want like my hair down kind of like messy vibe but I haven't done anything to it this is just air dry from when I washed it like two days ago so I think I'm gonna just start to take these pieces I have my straightener and I'm just gonna like turn 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 does that make sense as to like what I'm doing with my hair I'm gonna take the front pieces and make them like wavy like this turn turn this straightener is the best straightener ever. I've had it for years and I've made everyone get it. It's the GHD straightener. It's so good. I've been brunette for so long and I like want to go back blonde so bad because I'm like bored with the brown hair. Like I just am like, oh, I'm boring and basic. Not that brown hair is boring and basic because obviously I've had it for so long and like I love it. But I'm just like bored in general with like my look. I'm not used to keeping one look for this long. So I'm like, oh, I need to go back blonde. But then I like do my hair and I do my makeup and I'm like, oh, the brown is such a look. Like, I don't know, I'm just like nervous about that, but I do miss being blonde, but I feel like the brown is gonna be like, I don't know, I think it's my new favorite thing. Like in between hairstyles, you know, if I normally do a color, I'll do like blonde hair and then I'll do like pink or something. And then I go back to blonde. I feel like my thing now is going to be going back to brunette because it's like so easy. Okay, well, this is the hair for now. Like this is the vibe, the hair vibe. Like I just want like, you know, a couple messy pieces in the front, like just kind of chill. Okay, I really like this outfit, so I'm like so excited because I'm leaning. Oh, I don't know why I set the camera up here to show you, but here we are. I'll move it down so you guys can see the full little mini dress. So cute, sandals. 
haven't decided on a bag, but I put these little Heaven Mayhem earrings on. And hopefully someone I know is at this event because I need a picture. I just filmed 45 TikToks before I left the house and now I'm gonna get going. It's Wednesday. I am currently about to have a morning meeting with Grace. If you guys know Grace, you know Grace. Hi, Grace. She's probably watching this video right now. Um, Grace helps me with all of my content, like if I need to shoot ads and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of like, like an assistant, but really like just for my content, not for like my day-to-day -day life necessarily. So we're about to get on a morning meeting and I'm making two mood boards because on Sunday I want to have a content day with her where I like shoot a bunch of different things for my book Instagram but also for my personal Instagram just because sometimes I get so like I'm just like doing so much other stuff it's hard for me to manage like every single thing that I need to do which is like TikTok I'm not trying to be that person that like gets on the internet and complains about their job being social media. I'm just like explaining why I'm having a content day, if that makes sense. Um, but with TikTok and Instagram, I have like reels, but then I also need to post grid posts, but then I also upload shorts here on YouTube. I'm also editing my own daily vlogs. I also edit my own reading vlogs. And so there's like tons of things for me to do. And sometimes I just need one day out of the month where I shoot and film a bunch of things that I can just kind of like mix in here and there in my content. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, well, I'm not doing that today. I'm making the mood board for it today. So I just like to have a mood board because one, I'm a Virgo, so I'm a freak and I like to have everything planned out. I'll actually put the mood board up right here of just the inspo and the vibe for Sunday. So this is the inspo that I want to shoot on Sunday. I really just want like cute casual outfit pics. I don't ever take casual outfit pictures. I just take them if I'm like super dressed up and I just really want to have like my day-to-day -day outfits in my grid. So like just cute outfit pictures. Hello. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in 10 years. I get my book merch because I made the shirt. I made shirts. Oh yeah. And they're getting screen printed today, but I don't know if they're going to be here in time on Sunday. So I'm trying to have him like, literally I'm like overnight it to me, like tomorrow. That could be cute in a photo dump. So like stuff like that. And like, I love just like these casual, it's like one o'clock now and I am gonna sit down and read for a little bit. I really wanna read for like two hours. I know that sounds crazy, but I haven't been reading a lot. The book that I'm currently reading, which is my Magnolia Parks book, it's the last one in the series for now. I haven't been reading it a lot because one, it's the last one, I don't want it to end, and I've just been kind of disinterested in it. And also, I'm filming a reading vlog right now, and sometimes whenever I'm filming reading vlogs, I'm like, not motivated to read because I feel like I'm reading just because I have to vlog it, if that makes sense. So I've been like stalling on doing it. And like, I've been reading this book so slow. Like my books for June are gonna be like nothing because I mean like so slow. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get like kind of ready for the day. I have a dinner tonight with two friends of mine, Daniela and Kayla. Nat and I actually met them when we went to Coachella with Kapari and we just like really hit it off with them and we've like stayed in touch with them. And Daniela actually doesn't live here in LA but she's in town and Nat is in town as well. So. She was like, why don't we plan a little dinner and we can just like all hang out and catch up. So we're gonna do dinner tonight, but I have an aloe sculpt class right before that. So it's only one right now and my sculpt is not until five o'clock, but I'm like, I'm just gonna fix my hair and get pretty much ready to go to sculpt. So that way I can just read for a little bit because I did all of the work that I needed to do like earlier this morning. I also just cleaned my whole house and did my laundry and just like opened up a bunch of PR, put it all where it needed to be. So I'm feeling productive. The last thing I need to do is just like get a little bit ready and then when I go to sculpt later, I'll just be like ready, you know? So I'm gonna do like the smallest amount of makeup. We're calling this aloe makeup. This is the makeup that I wear. <laughs> 
whenever I go to Aloe because everyone there is perfect and stunning and beautiful. I'm not going to put a full face on, but I'm not going to go looking crusty because I am guaranteed to always take a little like workout video or out video. I put the moisturizer all over my face and then I'm going to use the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops because we've got to match this face to my neck i hate leaving the house or even like filming anything when my skin tone does not match it like really throws me kosas concealer and i'm just gonna go over like i have tiny little blemishes with my foundation brush i just go like this and like blend the concealer in i'm taking a little bit of my dibs blush and i'm gonna put like two little dots there i'm gonna curl my lashes even with no mascara my lashes just look so much better just curled one thing about me is you will never see me leave the house without a lip i don't care what kind of makeup look i'm doing i will never walk outside without a lipstick on or a lip liner so skin by kim lip liner in the shade nude 10 and then i'm adding road lip treatment and that's it that's the no makeup makeup that's what we're going with today my makeup looks way better in this lighting right here um but i was turning the camera back on because I uploaded some Instagram photos today and it's from the event that I went to yesterday where I'm like wearing my little dress and I was feeling so cute yesterday. Obviously, you can tell by the clips, I'm like really feeling myself and I'm like, oh my God, I love this dress. I love my makeup, blah, blah, blah. And it just got me thinking because I've been getting comments on my Instagram and my TikTok as of recently being like, oh my God, love this air for you. Like you just like are so confident. Like, I don't know, just like you look so happy. You're like glowing lately. I've been getting comments like that and I can tell when they're like more more common um, I don't always get comments like that I get nice comments but not necessarily like pertaining to just my confidence or like how I'm appearing online if that makes sense so I don't know I was just like thinking about it because I've been working on that a lot like in therapy I have been going to therapy consistently like for over a year now which I've been really loving I really love my therapist and she's really cute and really sweet and one of the things that we've been working on is my confidence because I am really not a super confident person and I feel like maybe sometimes I do appear that way or if I am feeling really cute like you bet like I am taking a million photos it's not confidence is not even necessary confidence like scratch everything I just said it's not about looks like a lot of my insecurity does stem from looks but like I would say like 75% of it is like personality based or yeah just like people perceiving me weird or like just not liking who I am as a person and it doesn't necessarily have to do with the way I look I think I'm very hyper aware of how I look um and I don't know if that's because I just like grew up doing social media I feel like it's like that for everyone no matter if it's your job or not I just feel like with the way things are now like with TikTok and Instagram and just like every platform it's common to be very hyper aware of how you look like anytime i'm out in public anytime i go anywhere i am like Ooh, like i just don't like being perceived <laughs> but i think i'm more insecure when it comes to my personality not necessarily that i have like a bad personality i think it's just like I can admit to myself and I've been able to admit to myself over time that I am someone who wants to be liked and I wish that I actually didn't value that like I wish that I didn't value if other people like me or not like if I meet someone for the first time or if I go to an event or if I go into a room like I wish I just didn't care like I wish I was just like well this is who I am and like if you don't like it you don't like it like but that's actually not how I am like I want other people to like me I want people to think that I'm like fun or like want to be around me or when they leave a conversation with me like I want them to be like oh my god like she was so nice or like she was so sweet and it's not that I'm like putting on an act because I'm not it is who I am but it's also like I wish I didn't feel that like need I think to be like validated by other people and so that's what I've been really working on is just like 
letting some of those thoughts go like I really have I've talked about this before but I have like lots of social anxiety so you know whenever I go into a room or I go to a new place and meet new people I'm very like hyper aware of every single thing that I said in that interaction or like how I came off I overthink it until like I am like in a full panic I think if people were to like go into my brain they would be like whoa this is a lot of overthinking and a lot of overanalyzing like every single thing that you've ever done. And unfortunately, I have great friends, but I feel so bad for them because every time I leave something, if I'm like with a friend, I like literally will call them after and be like, oh my God, like when I said that, was that really embarrassing? Like, how do I get out, out of this situation? Like, I feel like I said something wrong or like, I feel like maybe they thought I was being like this. And then like every single one of my friends will just kind of have to like talk me down because I'm like, freaking out i'm kind of going on a tangent but like all of the comments i've been receiving lately have been like really positive in terms of like seeing that like i'm very confident and i really appreciate that because it's something i'm actively working on like i'm actively working on not caring about how i might come off like especially like online but more so in person like i'm just trying to be myself does that make sense like not that I haven't been myself for so long, but like I'm really, really trying to be myself and just kind of like let those insecurities or like fear of judgment go because like I am happy with who I am. Like I genuinely am happy with who I am and like I know the type of person that I am and I know my character and I need to not try so hard for other people to understand me. I understand me and like I am very self-aware and hyper like, <laughs> intuitive of why I make the decisions that I make like I know every decision I make why I make it why I speak on things why I don't speak on things like I just know who I am as a person and I don't need anyone else to validate that for me so I've been like really really working on that and I don't know I feel like in some weird way like me working on a lot of the like internal things about just like letting other people's judgment go and like letting other people's opinions of me go and like not worrying so much about how I'm perceived has translated into like how I appear online without it meaning to. Does that make sense? Like, you know, when people just say like, you know, like you look happier or like whatever, it's not even necessarily like you're looking <laughs> that much different. It's just like, it's a, it's an energy type of thing. It's just like the way that you come across. And I don't know, this is like a really long tangent, but like if anyone else is like struggling with that or has struggled with that, um, especially social anxiety or just like letting people affect your decisions or affect the way that you feel about yourself or think about yourself. I don't have an answer for that. I don't have necessarily like advice for that because it's something I'm still working on. But I think my main thing is like, I just focus on like, if I overanalyze a situation or like I am really in my head over something, I like sit down with myself and I'm like, as long as you know who you are, why you do things, you don't need to worry about other people accepting you. I am for sure working on it. And I think as you get older, it gets easier because then you start to realize like, who actually cares? Like I have had that mentality. I feel like over the past year, ever since I've like been in therapy and stuff and just like so many things have like gone on in my life. And I'm just like, wait, I don't need to, I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I don't have to do anything for anybody or act a certain way for anybody. I can just be myself and like, that's enough. Like, I know I'm 26 years old. I'm going to be 27 in August and I'm just now kind of getting a, handle on those things like getting a grasp of that in a sense like wait a minute you don't have to try so hard you can just like be you and that's fine and if it's not enough for this person then like so be it i don't know like not my problem i always say this you guys know if you guys are og podcast listeners what other people say about you is none of your business it's none of my business that was a long random rant thrown into the middle of this vlog but it has been on my mind a little bit so i just wanted to talk about it with you guys because i don't know it might help someone or maybe you guys have like felt that way this is just a vlog of me getting ready to go places but i 
I swear I'm actually gonna vlog like a clip or two at dinner, but I'm about to go to dinner. I'm wearing this oversized sweater. It's from Zara, but it's from like five years ago. I stole it out of my mom's closet. This is probably my favorite steal of all time. Um, I'm actually wearing a little denim mini skirt with it, but I'll show you guys like the bottom half. It's very oversized, so it just kind of looks like a big oversized dress. And then I'm wearing white little like pumps, and that's pretty much it. I'll show you my bag. This is such an awkward outfit of the day because my head's cut off, but like I just want you guys to see like what the look looks like. Oh, and then I got these earrings like a week or two ago and they're from Heaven Mayhem and I am obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. I've been dying to wear them. We're just going to Gracias Madre, which is like, it's a all vegan Mexican restaurant because Danielle is vegan. And so we're gonna go there tonight. I was just going for casual, but also like dressy. I have this sweater on tucked into like jeans, but I was like, how can I elevate this a little bit? And I'm trying to wear mini skirts and dresses, which I'm sure you guys can tell. I know it looks so frumpy because it's just like an oversized sweater, but I am like so comfortable in this. Now I'm on to dinner. But if you did it, I would have. love it, so I could Look turn my flag out. This burrito that me and Nat got is actually <laughs> pretty sickening to view. It's because she didn't want a bowl, I suggested. <laughs> it's her fault. <laughs> I'm going to a concert. I'm going to the NoahCon concert and I'm so excited because let me just say, this is how much Brandon loves me. He was not coming to the concert with me, but then there ended up being a ticket and he had golfing today and he canceled his golf to come with me. And I like really wanted him to come to this concert with me, but like he obviously only knows like stick season and like maybe one other song. So I was like, I'm not gonna force him to come to this concert um, if it's like not fully his vibe. Not that I would have to force him anyway, as I can, as you can see, he's like coming on his own. But I'm like so excited because me, Brandon, Brooke, and Nat are going to the concert and I'm so stoked. They're gonna come pick us up. I'm adding a bunch of glow on because this has been my favorite thing lately, and I'm wearing a dress that obviously you can see like my shoulders and everything, so I just want to look really glowy. This is the Debs Beauty Stick in Good Life Gold. We're going to get all over this dress, but it looks so much better. And then I'm going to do the tops of my shoulders to like a big circle like that. It just looks so much better. I've always added glow like onto myself. And I always just like change the products up. Like when that catches the light, how much better does that side look than this side? Like it just looks so good. So I'm adding this on. We're gonna eat some burgers and then we're gonna go to Hollywood Bowl, which I've never been to a concert. I've never even been to Hollywood Bowl in general, but it's like an iconic venue here in LA. So I'm like really excited about it because I'm gonna be experiencing it for the first time. And I think it's Brandon and Nat's first time also. This little dress that I'm wearing, I got from Lioness. I showed it to you guys in another vlog because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or return it, whatever. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. And it actually is so cute and I'm really happy I'm wearing it today because I feel like I always buy clothes. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I feel like I always buy clothing with the intention of like, oh, I'm gonna have to wear this like somewhere so cute and like I just need to save it for something. And then I have so many new clothes that I never wear anywhere because I'm like saving them for the right moment and then they're never seen. And lately I've just been like, okay, I have this dress. Like I 
could save this for like a brand event or like something, but I'm less weird about like re-wearing outfits now and more so just like, no, it's cute, it fits the vibe, like that's what we're doing. So I've been much better about that with my clothing. We've come to the end of this week in my life. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of getting ready with me as a lot of different outfits. If you guys missed any of my book content or you guys just haven't seen me in a minute and you're wondering what I'm doing, follow me on Instagram. I have a book Instagram and I also have my regular Instagram. So they're both right here. I keep you guys up to date with what I've been doing. I've been super busy lately, but I'm super excited to continue vlogging like throughout the summer. I feel like you guys are gonna love the summer vlog. So anyway, that is it for this week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye